today's video is going to be about what I got for Christmas. Um, Alright, I'll go ahead and start. Um, I got this uh, lipstick and nail polish like set for my aunt. And what's cool about this uh, lipstick and nail polish set is they match. The nail polish and the lipstick both match each other. Um, see? Well, the light's kind of reflecting on it. This like pinky color. And then here's the nail polish that matches. Um, this is from Gold Coast. Then the next one is this lipstick. And then this nail polish. My cats are fighting, if you hear that. They're playing. Um, then there's this lipstick. And then this nail polish. I really love that. My aunt bought it for me because she said I like to match and stuff. And it's really pretty. Like, this is the darkest color. Very pretty. Very pretty colors. Even the lightest color is really pretty. The next things I got were from my mother. Well, actually, I'll show you what else my aunt got me. Um, she got me. She got me this bracelet. And you can't really tell because the light's reflecting. Let me see if I turn this off. See, it's so dark. There. I'll put it here. Um, you still can't see. It's got a black stone. Red. Um, like a greenish green. It's like a jade. And then another black or opal. Gray. Yellow. A brown and then like an off-white. I don't know if you can see it. But it's like egg-shaped. Little different colored jewels. It's kind of um, antique-ish looking. But I got that bracelet from her. And then she also got me this bracelet. has all the little circular metal little metal pieces all over it. Very pretty. Okay. Then, actually I'm going to move this stuff off this. Sorry. I'm going to move this. Okay. Next thing I got was from my next door neighbor. It was so sweet. Sorry, my hair is crazy. Um, she got me this little angel holding a teddy bear. So pretty. Foundations. And it says, bless you. On the bottom. Very pretty. Then, I got a gift card for Starbucks. Here, I'm going to try to put this light back here. Hopefully there won't be a glare. Starbucks. Then, oh, I think it's $5. And then I got this gift card for Walmart for $25. Um, then, oh, and those gift cards were for my mom. And then I got, um, my boyfriend bought this sweater for me. Um, you can't really tell, but it's brown and white knit. It's just got like a little fold down collar. Let me see if I can show you this way so you can see it better. Like the shape of it. Let's see. It's just a, it don't have, it's no buttons in the front. It just hangs loose. Just a little sweater. Even though it was 84 degrees on Christmas here in Florida. 
Um, the next thing I got is gigantic. It's a comforter. Um, it's velvety. Oh my god, it's so nice. My mom got this for me also. Um, hold on. I want you guys to be able to see. Oh. This, see, I don't know if you can tell. Let me see if I can, let me just, I don't want to take it out because I'm not putting it on my bed yet. But see, it's a crisscross pattern of like a dark, dang, you can't even see it. There you can kind of see it. But um, a darker velvety and then a lighter velvety is so soft. Oh, I can't wait to put it on my bed. And then on the inside, oh my goodness, it's the softest blanket ever in life. And then on the inside, it has this, um, can you see it? Sorry, this is awkward to show you guys. It's got, you can't really see it. My lighting's horrible, it's at night. But it's like a, I don't know, it's so soft, I don't know what the material is. But the texture outside is like a velvet type. And then the inside's like, I don't know how to explain it. Like a wooly looking kind of, but it's not wool. Because it's soft. It's like a cloud. Okay. I can't wait to put that on my bed. And we got curtains to match it, so it's going to be pretty. Oh, yeah. Alright, next thing my mom got me was this. Why is my lighting so bad? Let me see. No, that looks horrible. Let's see. <laughs> my lighting's horrible. Here, let me see if I can turn the camera. It's... My lighting's horrible. Sorry. Anyways. There! Okay, I did it. It's like this fuchsia colored um, makeup case. And here's what the front looks like. It's got like a little handle. Carry. Okay. Then. You open up this little tab right here. It's kind of dirty looking right now. Because I messed with it earlier. Okay. It's got... Eyeshadow brush, blush brush, um, eyebrow brush, an eyeliner brush. Um, what the heck happened to the other one? What happened to my other one? Sorry, I dropped something. I'm a mess right now. Sorry. I've got a blush brush, and then on the other sides of those, I have two eyeliner pencils, and they're double sided. Um, let's see. There's a bronze, a smoke. This one's double sided also. Um, this one's called mink, and the other side's blackout. So black. Let me see if I can swatch them. It's black. Mink is like a like a softer black. Um, this is blackout. Blackout's a little darker black. It's this one right here. Then. This one is smoke. This one is like just like another gray. My lighting's horrible. And then the bronze is like a brownish color. Right here. But it's got these swatches are horrible because you can't even see them, can you? I tried. Anyways, okay. And then here's the top part, which you can't see either because my light's reflecting, but it has blush, a highlight, 
um, face powder, um, a, a warm highlight, a cool highlight, a flush, like a two um, blushes. Then you got, um, I don't know what these are. I'm thinking these are um, up here. I don't know. It says Gleam Pewter Cotton Candy Gold Coin Bear and Champagne. And I think they're cream eyeshadows, but I'm not sure. I'm going to try to look on... Uh, oh, this is from Ulta. I don't know if I told you guys this. It's a makeup kit from Ulta. But, and then it has all these beautiful eyeshadows. And I wish you guys could see it. Oh, there. You can you guys can see it that way. See? But you can't... You can't... My camera's not that great. So you can't see the how beautiful they are. But there's greens and browns and golds and like soft pinks and um there's purples and um blues and dark colors like grays and um they're beautiful and then in the middle right here they're you see you can kind of see it when i do that they're glittery and they're like champagne colored like one's called fairy princess and then glitz girl so that would have been perfect for like oh new year's can maybe do that on my eyes but anyways, just beautiful. And they have good pigmentation. Very good pigmentation. Okay, now. Next thing. I'm going to move these. Then. Then you open this little tab right here and pull it out that way. And then you take this and you open it that and see, it's got makeup on these sides, and I'll take it out so you can see it better. It's kind of hard for me to maneuver on my bag because I have so much stuff on it right now. It's not really hard to get out. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a lipstick here, and it's like a, like a, um, maroon and then it has like a oh man what do you call that pigment eyeshadow pigment uh, gold then down here this is the pigment then down here these are different like lip what do you call them like not lip stains but whatever and they're all different colored like reds then these are bronzers and then a blush and then Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't tell you. And then these are concealers up here. All these. It's got the green and then the different colored um, tans. Oh, it's got a lip primer. What? I didn't even know that. And then a medium concealer, a light concealer, and then a correcting concealer for redness. That's what that green concealer is for. Okay, now, on the other side the other side I don't know why I'm talking weird but okay now this one it has another lipstick up here it's more brown and then it has a pigment eyeshadow down here and that's more of like a um, like a pewter color and then it has three different eyeshadow no eyebrow um colors, whatever you call them, eyeshadow powder, I forgot what you call them, and then a wax for your eyebrows, and then all these different kinds of, um, they got like, um, liquid, it could be eyeliner or eyeshadow, I don't know what it is, I'm just starting on this makeup thing, so I'm not really in the know about everything, but I think it's, like, what do you call it, not liquid, but, um, what do you call it? The kind of eyeliner that's not liquid, but it's this. Whatever. And then, but it has um, black, brown, charcoal, plum, ink, which is a blue, and then a bronze. And I think those are all eyeliners or they're liquid eyeshadows. I don't know. I'm thinking eyeliners. And then um, it has these um, eyeshadows on the top were like glittery, and these are all matte. There was some matte, but these are all matte right here. And they are 
neutral colors. And this one is so pretty. Havana Nights. You can't see it. There, you can kind of see it that way. It's such a pretty, like, like in between, like, a maroon and a brown. So pretty. Then, where is it? Okay, my grandmother bought me this. And my uncle. They bought it together. It's really dirty. Hold on, for my fingers. Anyways, it's my new tablet. They got this for me. So nice. See? It's my new tablet. Yep. So, anyways, I got that. And then, last but not least, a necessity. Um, the only reason I'm putting these in this video is because it is kind of embarrassing, but I want to give like a, a tip or something for my big plus size girls out there. Um, it's the uh, Kasik, um panties. These are the boy shorts, which I love them. See? So, I love these panties. Um, they're so comfortable and so, and they're all cotton. They do have lace and stuff, but I like the cotton boy shorts. But, they got cute. This is like a pink and white print. And I got a plain white with lace. And, this is actually purple, but it looks brown on there. Polka dot. And then snowflakes. And then this is another purple with polka dots. And then black lace looking stuff. And then this print. And then gray with black. And then blue with polka dots. And then another one of those other kind. But anyways, like I said, I am kind of shy about stuff like that. But um, I wanted to put them on here because, you know, I don't know. It's hard to find um, when you are plus size. It's hard to find uh, clothes that, you know, that are cute and um, affordable and, um, you know, fit your body and stuff like that and are comfortable and all the above and in style but um these underwear like seriously or panties excuse me are so comfortable um they're they've got like all different kinds of prints um they have different cuts and um they are sort of expensive they're like way more than i like to spend but these are the only panties that i will buy they um, normally have like a sale going on because normally they're like $15 a piece. Uh, I don't think so. But they, a lot of the time they have sales um, at Kasik. And it's like 5 for $25, which is still ridiculous. But um, I don't care because I like their panties. So if you're a plus size you're looking for some good quality um, panties I would definitely recommend them and last but not least the next last thing I got was this little light here I'll shut it off so you guys can see it but um, it's just a little lamp little light my mom got it for me and it's halogen I mean seriously see if I put it up here it might but it kind of washes me out but my my lighting in my room see if I didn't have it now that I have it my lighting in my room is so bad so I don't know if that's why my mom got it for me but that's why I'm going to use it partially um I guess um, I think that is it but I'm so blessed this year and um Oh, and my daughter, oh man, but I put it up in my special keepsake box. My daughter's so sweet. She, um, 
she gave me this card telling me how much I mean to her and how much, you know, that she looks up to me and stuff like that and how much I do for her. And, you know, that meant so much to me because, you know, she doesn't really have money and so she gave what she could give. She, like, uh, made me a necklace that was made from, like, a big button. It was, like, this big, the button. And she put, like, stretchy string. And, and um, what else did she make me? She, um, oh, she put an old picture of me, her dad, and her, and, uh, for memories, you know of her went us all together when she was little which I'm still with him but we don't live together right now it's too complicated to talk about but so we're not really together at you know in the same household as a family right now hopefully in the future but um so she did that and um what else did she give me a whole bunch of stuff? But um, the night she was doing it, I mean, literally, she was out there for hours making me, her dad, and uh, uh, my mom, and uh, my grandmother, our great, her great grandmother, um, some little homemade little presents. It was sweet. But I love my baby. She really is precious. Um, hopefully, on here soon. Like, you get to see her on here, but you don't get to see, like, her full personality. So, hopefully I'll be able to get her to do some, like, little talks with you guys and stuff. Because, like, she's only seven years old, but she is so intelligent. Not I, I know I'm a, her mother and every mom says that, but, I mean, she loves God and, um... She listens to the Holy Spirit. And sometimes the things that, like, you know, as a parent, you know, you're always teaching your kids how to, you know, how to act, right? And you're teaching them. But sometimes they can teach you. And just sometimes, like, if I'm sad or upset or just, you know, struggling in life, it's like she, she knows she knows me because we're always together so she knows when my mood changes or whatever i try not to let her see it but you know some i'm not very good at hiding it but um she's very intuitive and um but she listens to the holy spirit and he speaks through her a lot of the time and it just amazes me how god uses little even little girls but um one day i'll have to get her on here and see but, um, that kind of got way off of the, <laughs> off of the, um, video. But, um, anyways, um, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I did. I feel very blessed, not just because, you know, of the wonderful things that, gifts that I received this year, but for my beautiful daughter and, um, my family, who I love dearly. So, I hope you guys had a great Christmas, and I hope that you guys have a great New Year. And, um, also, I'm going to try to get my daughter to post what she got for Christmas, which that video will probably be, like, an hour long. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but, but seriously, she got a lot of things, because her dad's side of the family, and then my fa side of the family, and you know, people she doesn't even know. Ever since she was born, this church, um, they, uh, put her on their tree. It's called the angel tree. And ever since she was born, um, she has been on that tree and they get her something every year. And she got so many presents from them. But we, you know, sometimes, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but, you know, I'm not able to work because of my anxiety. And the only money that I get is from child support. And so it's like really, you know, pay, you know, month to month that I live um, or live by, you know, the money or whatever. I don't have extra. Um, so it's like sometimes, you know, I struggle because I want to get her so much stuff. And every year it seems like I'm like, oh man, I'm not going to be able to get her anything. 
but God blesses us because it's like not just my family, but people that I don't even know that um, bless my daughter with gifts. And God supplies the things that we need, but he also knows our heart as parents and um, supplies the things that we may not be able to give. And it's just touching. So I feel really super blessed. And uh, this Christmas has really put my life in perspective and how blessed I am. So sorry I'm rambling. But, I don't know, maybe somebody needed to hear that. Hopefully it helped somebody. It really did touch me this year, so I wanted to share. But, um, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.